Math Guy here. Today we're going to look at the Gallon Man and see how it helps us learn about the units of capacity. The Gallon Man is an easy way to remember all of the units of capacity. So if we take a look, you'll see the big G. Inside of the big G, which stands for Gallon, we have four Qs. Each of the Qs represents quarts. So there are four quarts in one gallon. So that is something that needs to be memorized. And if you can't memorize it, or to go along with memorizing it, it is extremely important that you, that you memorize the gallon man, because it is a visual that is going to really help you memorize these units. So inside of each Q, we have two Ps. Each of the Ps represent pints. So if we count up how many pints are in a quart, there are two. And if you count up how many Ps we see inside of the entire G, so the enti inside the entire gallon, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight pints inside of a gallon. Now that's a conversion that we usually don't, that you usually don't memorize. You don't memorize that there are eight pints inside of a gallon. I mean, some may, but it's not a more common conversion that we memorize. But if, you, if you're able to understand the gallon man and draw it from scratch, they could ask you how many pints are in half a gallon, how many pints are in three quarts, or how many pints are in a gallon and you'll be able to answer any of those problem any of those questions without a problem now inside of each pint we have two c's so there are two c's inside of every p so and the c represents cups so there are two cups inside of every pint so if you're looking inside of a quart all you would have to do is count up how many c's are inside of a Q, and that would be one, two, three, four. So there are four cups in a quart. Now, once again, that's not a conversion that you often memorize, that there are four cups in a quart, but if you're able to visualize the gallon man, you'll be able to answer that. Now, I couldn't fit it inside of the gallon man, but each cup, if you could see in the upper right-hand corner, each cup is equal to eight fluid ounces. It's important that, that you understand that a cup, when we're talking units of capacity or liquid, that we measure cups in fluid ounces and not, and not just ounces, because 16 ounces is in, is in one pound, but there are eight fluid ounces, which is referring to liquid, inside of one cup. So, and once again, if you know that there are eight fluid ounces in one cup, you could answer the question of how many fluid ounces are inside of one gallon. And you would just count up, well, how many C's are inside of my gallon? And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So there are 16, since there are 16 cups inside of one gallon, you would do 16 times 8, which equals, well, we could do 10 times 8 is 80, and 6 times 8 is 48. So 80 and 48 is 128 fluid ounces in one gallon. So there's 128 fluid ounces in one gallon. And once again, from looking at the gallon man, you should be able to do that math. So whenever you're given a test, whether it's the state test or any kind of quiz assessment on, on conversions, I would draw that gallon man, okay? Because, once, because being able to visualize it is going to help your understanding of it. So. One gallon equals four quarts. One quart equals two pints. One pint 
equals two cups and one cup equals eight fluid ounces.